What's it, what movie today? Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Right. You can throw in that this Sunday is the Andre the Giant Invitational Battle Royal at WrestleMania 30. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Andre the Giant's coming? Yeah. Yeah. That uh, brings you back to it. You're up. <laughs> All right. For the segment everyone talks about and waits for, Chad and Mr. Benson's movie reviews. Let's start with uh, this week's movie, The Princess Bride. Let's start talking, Chad. Um, all right. Princess Bride is considered a classic 1987 film. I didn't like it. I'll be honest. I really did not like it. I felt that the character development was lacking extremely. The romance is a central part of the story, but isn't really developed. It's just like shoved aside to try and get some like funny lines for all those people that love comedies, just like comedy. Um, I also didn't like the music choices that they decided to use. I felt it really didn't hurt me at all. Let's give this Benzino a chance to revive it. Yeah, all right. Inconceivable! Oh! I'm shocked. I, I am shocked. The Princess Bride is probably one of the most quotable films of all time. Rob Reiner promises you right in the beginning of the film that this is going to have a little bit of everything and oh Chad it does. <laughs> and the music choice, Mark Knopfler of Dire Straits providing the original oh, score? Oh, How can oh, you argue oh, oh, that? This is true. And besides, you said that the romance wasn't believable but it's a fairy tale. It is structured as a fairy tale, read to a sick child. It never pretends to be anything more than that. And it is not about how to fall in love, it's about what you will do for love, and you will go anywhere. Uh, Shots fired. All the genres they put in is kind of like mixing bacon, ice cream, and like bananas in a blender, and then trying to taste it. But when you're pregnant, it's delicious, and oh. <laughs> 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 it's the romance. You can still develop it, that's the main part of the movie. I hear oh, more about Andre the Giant and all those like bad guys than the good guys. You care about good. everyone in this film. The cast of supporting characters, they manage to make each one unique. There is not a single character that is a supporting character that you cannot easily identify. Buttercup, I didn't like Buttercup. Uh, I, didn't like her. I found her to be extremely annoying at times. Not only that, the main guy, who I forget his name, the guy was in the oh. Are you talking about Wesley, you know, the, the train pirate Roberts, our main character? Is that who you're referring to? Again, he wasn't really developed. I got more development from Andre the Giant. And the guy kept on saying, inconceivable. Vince me, yes. Yes. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes. Oh, Chat. I give it a half a star of five. Now, just kidding, April Fools, I give it a three out of five. But still, I would not recommend this. This is a five out of five movie, and wow. frankly, I look forward to showing this movie to my child and my child showing this movie to her child, just like Peter Falk reads a story to his grandfather. Is that an April Fool's joke? It is not an April Fool's joke. I, I go buy this one. All right. Well, you have it here. Chad will use Mr. Benson for another week. Chad, you think that's one of the ones now, right? Chad, you think that's one of the ones now, right? Chad, you think that's one of the ones now, right? Chad, you think that's one of the ones now, right? Chad, you think that's one of the ones now, right? Chad, you think that's one of the ones now, right? Chad, you think that's one of the ones now, right? Chad, you think that's one of the ones now,